uh, we'll take a look at uh, this specific thing that is query selector and query selector all query selector all so these two things we'll see see we've already seen uh, how to select elements from within javascript right we have seen get element by id these things you know get element by id get element by name so you can select an html element using these uh, methods so now we'll see query selector and query selector all what is the use of this so query selector and query selector all uses css selectors we have already learned get element by id you can access an element using its id you can access an element by its name by its tag by its class Likewise, you can also access the element using CSS selectors. We all know what CSS selectors are. Do you remember CSS selectors like uh, when I give div greater than P, what it means? All the paragraph elements which are children of division, right? That is the meaning here. So likewise, we have seen uh, various things. When I give dot and access certain elements, say dot btn, uh, let me delete this dot btn something like that what dot refers here yes, is the class that it belongs to and how you access an id hash so we have used so many css selectors so we know that now query selectors use css selectors say let me create one uh, h1 tag here and say this is a heading and now i can give a class to this right class i'll give some classes uh, yes something like that and now how i can access this within my javascript let me delete this so let's access this within our javascript code so how is that you access this within the javascript is we use document dot query selector can be used and here you can give the class name what is that dot s so here we are talking about the CSS selector. In CSS, how will you select the class? We'll give a dot and then the class name. So that's what we are using here. And we can capture this element constant. Uh, okay. So now we are accessing this H1 inside our JavaScript code. And we can very well change it, right? K dot uh, style dot color is equal to red see so that is the use of a query selector but what is that we are going to give here is the css selector are you clear with this so here you have an h1 tag with this class and we are using the query selector to select it and we are manipulating it suppose if i have multiple h1 tags with the same class now you see this query selector is selecting only the first h1 tag and it's uh, changing its color to red so there is a variation to query selector method that's called query selector all so what query selector all is going to perform is it's going to select all the elements with that specific class that is yes so with this css selector what are the classes available all these h1 tags with the same class name so now what this one returns is you can think a uh, return to be it returns an array of uh, nodes so it returns an array here that's the meaning because you have many elements here so you're going to get an array how is that you work with an array of elements you run a for loop for let x of k and then now you apply the styling to every element inside the array so you do k dot style it's not k it's x dot style dot color dot color is equal to red see now when you use query selector all what it's returning is an array of all the nodes now you have to traverse through every node and then you have to apply the styling for that node so what query selector and query selector all uses is the css selectors if we're going to use id i'll say ash yes if you're going to select the first paragraph element within the division i give div greater than p when i use query selector all it will select all the paragraph elements within that division so now can we uh, take a look at 
event listeners are you clear with what is the difference between query selector and query selector all so whenever you're using all please ensure that you work with an array of elements there 